So here we are in our third video for the Galactic Mail Tutorials. Um, and now we're going to start looking at some interactivity of collisions and the spaceships flying around. So, so far in these tutorials, you've learned about end step, um, the event end step, you've learned about the actions of set direction variables, so wrapping around the room, jumping to point, and setting the sprite. You've also understood or learned about the concepts of room layers sub images and sprite animation, object coordinates and direction. So far in creating our game, we have a spaceship object which um, spins left and right on the A and D keys. Um, we have moons and asteroids which move around randomly in random directions in the room. And we have a background image. Okay, so um, now we need to make our object actually fly around our spaceship flying around so we've got our landed spaceship we're going to do a very similar thing and actually have our flying spaceship so let's open our resources panel over here and i'm going to start by creating a sprite so like this right map right mouse click create a sprite i'm going to import an image and you see we've got our landed gif we've also got a flying gif over here which has got the little um, rockets firing as well too so we're going to open him him in yes and I'm going to rename you SPR underscore flying okay and in here again I need to edit the image and I need to go from there and yes you guess we've got 72 frames because again we want to turn around same as the lead one remove all the colors go back here he's done radio Speed is zero because we don't want to turn around, we want it to react to the direction of the actual object itself. So we've done that in the image, remove it. So now it's time to actually close them down and make the object. So I'm going to right mouse click on the object, create object, name him again. All this should be very familiar to you um, because we've done it so many times now. Object flying, I'm going to add the sprite in here. There is the sprite. Okay, so the first thing I want to do about object flying is that when he moves around, um, we want him to um, wrap around the moon, wrap around the, the room exactly the same way as the moons and the planets. Because remember, he's, he's not following a moon now. Your flying object is actually going out by itself. So Let's go to other and say outside room, outside room, and if it's outside the room, we want it to wrap around room. And we come down here, there is wrap around the room, we want it both horizontal and vertical. So that's fine, that does what we want. The second thing we want it to do is um, at the end step, we want to set the sprite the same way as with the landed one. So at the end of the step, at that event so all the other calculations that happen and just before we move into the next step we then need to set our sprite which is our little pac-man symbol here set the sprite we want to again we want to be sprite flying okay and the sprite flying and the frame is the exact same as the other last time is the direction the current direction is facing um, direction there is built-in variable divided by five so that will give us a value of between um, zero and 71 or so 72 possible values which will um, align with one of the sprites there so we've got the object um, outside of room we've got the end step of it we now need to actually make it again move left and move right as it was with um, with the landed one so they are both key down events now we're making one of the features remember it said that you can't control this as well when you're flying as when you're landing. So key down for left, we're going to change set direction variable here. And this time, instead of it being um, plus 10, which is really fast moving, we're gonna say just plus two relative, which is gonna to add to the value direction, which means you turn slower when you're flying than when you're actually landing, which makes it a bit more of a challenge. Do the same again, key down for um, the letter of D, which is our right turning and direction and make him negative two relative. Okay, so um, 
that should oh we also need to add speed to both of those i forgot about that if because this is just going to make them turn but we actually also want them to be moving as well in a particular direction so let's give it speed which is here speed of six okay and i'm going to go up to here because i forgot to put it into a and i'm going to go speed of six rightio so let's have a look and see if i if i go to the room Okay, and if I just get a flying object and put them in here, I just want to see if it's going to move around for us. Alright, so let's press play. Now he should be moving forward at the speed of 6. And he turns left and right according to whether I'm pressing the left and right key down, which I'm uh, pressing the D key at the moment and the A key. So that's exactly what I want to do. Perfect. So now we've got a flying spaceship. We need to now make him into um, interacting with the objects around us. The first thing we're going to do is if it crashes into an asteroid, we want it to destroy. Okay, so I need to open, so I've got flying open here, we need to add a collision. So it's collision with, and it's the asteroid object, any asteroid object, and that's going to be really cool. So collision with asteroid object, what we're going to make it do is we're going to just have it restart the game at the moment so restart is um, restart room restart game so the game just restarts if you crash into an asteroid that's the end of it restarts and you have to go again okay so we also then want if it crashes collision with the moon and this is a bit tricky what we want it to do is if it collides with the moon we actually want the it to land on the moon so, collision with object moon. So, how do we make that happen? Well, we do two things. Because remember, we've got we've got two different objects, radio. So, we got the object which is the flying spacecraft and the lander spacecraft, and we've got the object which is a moon and the special moon. The special moon is the moon with the object on it, the spacecraft lander. So, what we need to do when it collides with the moon, first off, we need to change this object into um, object lander. So, we use what's called change instance there is change instance well if you didn't want to search for it it's just under the instance section here is change instance and we say when it collides we want you to change you want the flying object to change into the um, landed object so now it becomes a landed object and then we also want to change the instance we want to change the instance of the moon because we want the moon that it's crashed into or landed on um, to become the special moon because that's the moon that holds the um, that holds the spaceship. So remember, we've got to change the this instance. The uh, collision will needs to apply to other, so it applies to the moon that it's it's collided with. And this object here is we want it to change into object special moon. Radio. So object special moon. So. Let's give this a test and see if it works for us. So, it's basically, oh, yep, it changed into, yep, that's it. I'm just going to try that again. So you can see, because, let's just try that so you can see what it, what I meant. This is the special moon here, radio, and it's, it collided with the actual moon there and it jumped across the special moon. So that's that's doing actually what we wanted to do because there's one last step we need to do now this is the step of the launch so first off to do that um, what we're going to do is we're going to open the um, object landed so I'm going to close the flying object and when the object landed takes off so what we need to do when we um, when we want it to take off we wanted to the ship to take off when we press um, key press space and so space there space there and what I wanted to do when we actually the object landed the the, the landed object the landed spaceship and press space first thing we want to do is we want to give it some speed so we want to actually set the speed of six this is the speed so actually gives some value up some momentum it starts moving forward um, we wanted to change the instance to a flying object so remember we use change instance so it's no longer the landed object it's a flying object so it will change into that so let's change into flying object. 
Radio, and then we want to, what we want to do is we want to destroy the object of special moon. Because we've landed, we've visited that moon, we're going to take off and leave it alone. So there's actually going to be no special moon until the ship lands and transforms a moon into another special moon. So let's see, um, destroy instance, let's get into instances here, and say so create instance, destroy instance. And the destroy instance is actually of, the drop down here, of special moon. Radio. So let's see if that works. Oh, actually, before I do that, I need to get rid of this additional. Um, go into the room and get rid of this additional flying. It doesn't need to be there. Right, let's try that now. So press play and the moon should launch. And if I press space, the ship takes off. The moon disappears. Oh, that's really weird. It's jumping when it takes off. Let's have a look, see if we can work out what that is. Let's see if I can land and we can see it again. And probably me testing games as I'm so horrible at games. Right, let's see. It jumps to the right. Why does it jump to the right? Maybe it's the same to do with sprite. Let's go have a look at the sprites and see if there's a issue here with sprites and sprites flying. And you know what we've got to do? We've got the origin up here, so it's jumping off to the side. So we need to change that origin so it's center and middle. Okay, done. Radio. So he flies. The last thing we need to do now is press F12, clear that all out. And what we need to do now is we need to make the sound. So I'm going to come into here and we're going to create a sound. So we've got a sound to put as he land, as he takes off. Create sound. I'm going to choose the object, which is launch object. Um, it's a WAV file, so it's uncompressed. I'm going to give it a name, SND launch. Okay, and all that stuff is done. You can hear it there. That's a practice. It works fine. I'm going to close you down. I'm going to come back into the landed object because it's um, the landed sprite, the landed object down here, and it's. When the key press, it also is going to add a um, action of the sound playing. The sounds are purple. Purple. So let's see. I'm going to add you to the top. Actually, play the sound of launch. All right. Let's see if this works. Press play. And let's see. There's my ship. Makes a sound and it launches normally. It doesn't jump to the left. It arrives on the next moon, and that becomes the object special moon. Yep, cool. That's doing exactly what I wanted to do. Now, if it collides with the yeah, asteroid, it restarts. So there we are, we have a semi-functional game. So we now have a fairly functional game. We have a ship that can fly around avoiding asteroids and going to its targets of landing on the moon. And the new skills you developed in this tutorial was learning how the change instance action works and applying that to various situations.